Greetings. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is Elle from Queen L LLC. So this video, as the title states, is regarding three tips to help with diaper rashes. So I have many years of experience of um, mostly avoiding diaper rashes, but when one pops up, I have some home remedies. My three tips will be from the most gentle um, remedy to one that's not harsh, but it's the least gentle of all of the options as far as the ingredients go. Okay, so let's dive right in if that's what you're interested in. So um, the first remedy I would say is to go with something that is completely plant-based. So um, that would be um, a natural butter or oil just to act as a water repellent on your little one's bum. So um, what we use for my little one is organic unrefined shea butter. It is um, very um, natural in the sense that there are no chemicals, no um, fragrances, um, no additives. It's just one product. And um, we don't use um, one of the creams that you see on, um, on the market. That's my little one. <laughs> so we don't use um, one of the creams that you can find on the market that is whipped or, you know, that's where the unrefined comes from. So it's literally a block of um, shea butter that we just, um, you know, just kind of heat up and melt in our hands and use that on him um, after bath time. So, um, or a wash up or something. So that is definitely a preventative option and um, it helps with moisturizing skin and um, is really lightweight. So it's not totally a water repellent, but it helps. So then to move on to something that would be more of a protective barrier or coating on um, the diaper area, and that would be Vaseline. So Vaseline is widely recognized as something that is water repellent. It's not my go-to, and I don't use it on a regular basis for myself or any of my children, um, mainly because Vaseline is not um, truly natural. It's like a mineral oil, so it's not um, in my opinion, not truly plant-based. So, um, but it is very effective for the diaper area. So that would be the next thing I would move toward is Vaseline. So that's kind of a, um, an extra bonus is in between the, um, any type of plant-based solution, like a butter or oil, um, to my first diaper rash solution would be um, throwing Vaseline in there to use just on the diaper area um, because it is water repellent. Now, if you see any type of diaper rash pop up, and before I start giving these tips, I do want to give a disclaimer. I am not a medical professional at all. I um, am only giving you some homemade, um, or not all homemade, but some home remedies that I use um, that have been were recommended to me years and years ago and that I have recommended to others that have been effective and are um, pretty widely recognized um, just among parents everywhere. So yes, I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, and to you know and also this video is not um, or should not be used as a replacement for any type of medical advice either. So with that being said, um, my go-to if I see a diaper rash starting to pop up is, or any type of irritation in the diaper area, is cornstarch and Vaseline. So what I use, um, and so it's not even about the brand, but just um, the fact that it's cornstarch, and you can find this in the baked goods section of your local grocery store um, or big box store. And it's not, <clears throat> excuse me, it's not um, in the 
bakery section, but the baked goods section. So where you would find the ingredients to make your baked products, where there's sugar and flour, etc. And this would be in about that section of that aisle. Um, usually I find it on one of the upper shelves. And you can typically find this in a box first. And then um, this is a larger jar. I like this um, because I like to upcycle things and with it being plastic and it's like a sturdy plastic and having this lid, um, I can reuse this for something else after the fact. So yes, so cornstarch and Vaseline, you can make a little paste with it and um, I would recommend using, let's say about half a cup of um, Vaseline to about a tablespoon of cornstarch and you can if you don't want to dedicate a jar of Vaseline for this reason then maybe just get like a little Tupperware container or something with a little lid to keep it secure and um, as you may or may not know if you've ever used cornstarch before for um, stews or um, soups because it's a thickener your um, it creates like a bit of a paste and you just kind of slather it on there. And when I tell you literally within a couple of diaper changes, you will see a difference. Now, um, this alone has worked for, um, I haven't seen many diaper rashes um, with my children, but the maybe handful that I've seen in the almost two dozen years of motherhood that I've had, um, it has worked every time up until the most recent time. So um, my little one, the youngest, he is um, just now getting over a diaper rash. And um, one misconception that I want to bring up is um, I always thought that diaper rash was like 100% caused by a lack of changing your little one often enough that's just kind of and it wasn't just me but that's just kind of what you think you know like oh you're just letting you know soil diapers just sit on the, their little skin and it's sensitive and that's what happens now that definitely is a cause of it but that's not the cause of it so um just wanted to throw that out there that um like my little one, for instance, he just has some really sensitive skin and he gets irritated and he might be irritated one day and then the next day his skin will look fine and then the next day it'll be irritated. Like you just never know. So just wanted to throw that out there that it's not always what it seems, you know. So with that being said, moving on from that one, that is my tried and true remedy. However, um, my little one had a really resistant diaper rash and so um, and another thing is once you try something and the diaper rash doesn't heal after um, let's say it's pushing up on a week and it's not getting better throughout the week maybe it's getting worse or just not going anywhere um, definitely don't hesitate to contact your medical professional whether it's um, the pediatrician or a nurse or um, if you have an after hours number that you can call or um, just a medical professional, then definitely feel free to ask them and get some guidance um, um, to our maybe untrained eye as um, non-medical professionals. Could be um, yeast. Little ones can get a yeast infection or it could be um, a bacterial infection. So that can happen. And um, it would take a medical professional to tell us, you know, yay or nay. But if you have a really pesky one, um, definitely get it looked at because that could be what it is. And there would be a medical remedy for those. So um, assuming that that's not what it is, after the cornstarch remedy, if that does not work, then we would move on to the baking soda. So you would mix it up with Vaseline the same way. Um, just making a little paste. I would use less baking soda than the cornstarch because baking soda is a bit harsher on our skin directly. Um, we know that baking soda is used throughout the home to um, eliminate odors, to um, help with cleaning, 
you could even use baking soda to um, as a toothpaste alternative. Um, however, you can also use it to help with a diaper rash. So I would use maybe about a teaspoon to about a half a cup of Vaseline. Make it the same way, mix it, make a paste. Now, the reason why it's harsher is because it has a higher pH than cornstarch does. So our skin likes about a 4.5 to 5.5 um, pH, but um, baking soda is a nine, where cornstarch is, I believe, about a six or seven. So with baking soda being a nine, it is harsher on our skin, but um, the Vaseline helps to balance it out and you're just using it to coat the diaper area. So that's the next thing I would move to after cornstarch if cornstarch doesn't work or isn't as effective. And then if it's still not effective, then I would move to an over-the-counter remedy that um, I used that actually ended up helping with this pesky diaper rash and that is this aquaphor diaper rash cream i like this brand because they have um pretty non-toxic ingredients i mean it's still a commercial product and it's not plant-based but um sometimes you need something that's a little more stronger okay so for this one um it says aquaphor healing cream baby three-in-one diaper rash cream prevents smooth treats Hypoallergenic, cleans off easily, paraben and fragrance free, 15% zinc oxide skin protectant, pediatrician recommended brand. So the zinc oxide, that's what helps if it's a really pesky diaper rash. So those are my tips. Thank you so much for joining me today. As always, if you um, would like more information about my blog, cleanel.net, or um, my Etsy shop, cleanllc.etsy.com. Those links are below in the description box, as well as the link to my 2023 planners. Get you one. They're $5.99 a piece on Amazon. Again, link down there. Um, check out all of my videos on astrology and tarot and all things spirituality. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. Ashe, peace.